Well, with two laps to go, let's set up the incredible finish of the Chamois Shine 200. Billy Pouch was looking to break Al Tazniti's single-season win record. Danny Johnson was looking to win his first-ever feature at Flemington. Both drivers wanted to win the last race on dirt at Flemington. We're about to see two of the most exciting laps ever run at Flemington Speedway. And who could ever forget Billy Pouch's brush with the outside wall in his valiant effort to win on the outside of Danny Johnson on the last lap. Green is out with two laps to go. Danny Johnson, your leader. Billy Pouch in second spot. Pouch looking not only to win the last race on dirt at Flemington Speedway, but break the season win record of the late great Al Taz Nady. Danny Johnson, the New York Invader, leading the way here in car 28. Stock to New Jersey's eight-time Flemington Speedway champ Billy the Kid Pouch in second spot. Harry D with a white flag. One lap to go for Danny Johnson. Billy Pouch looks to the inside of Johnson. Who's it going to be? Danny Johnson with a burst of speed holds off Pouch. Now down the back stretch, Billy Pouch tries to set up Danny Johnson with a patented Billy Pouch sweep move here coming out of turn number three. Pouch goes high, makes contact in the outside steel. Danny Johnson maintains the top spot. Harry D with a checkered flag for Danny Johnson. What an exciting way to end an error at Flemington Speedway. Certainly, congratulations are in order to both drivers for their outstanding effort and performance for Billy Pouch and Danny Johnson that they put on at the end of the Chamois Shine 200. A look ahead to the 1991 season at Flemington Speedway when we come back with Modified Country USA. If you're interested in sponsorship opportunities on this program or at Flemington Speedway, Call Flemington Speedway at 908-782-2413. Opening day at the Flemington Speedway, Saturday, April 27, featuring modified, sportsmen, late models, rookies, and the ISMA Super Modified with a 50-lap championship race. Racing begins at 6 o'clock. The gates will open at 9 o'clock for inspection and practice. At opening day at Flemington Speedway, Saturday, April 27th. Flemington Speedway is the oldest weekly running track in the United States today. Flemington Speedway has been a dirt track for the past 75 years. Just prior to our championship weekend in October, the decision was made to convert Flemington Speedway from dirt to asphalt. Seems like this won't be seen around Flemington anymore. I spoke to the promoter of Flemington Speedway, Paul Cool, about his decision to go asphalt. I've thought about it for quite some time now. I mean, we've been here 20 years with dirt. It's a tradition of Flemington. It's been a tradition for 75 years. 75 years since this place opened. We celebrated it this year on dirt. But things change. The, uh, the surrounding area changes. The uh, environmental people, the EPA, everybody else, everything changes. So life changes in stock car racing and auto racing as well as it does any place else. You have decided to go asphalt. What has been the initial reaction from the competitors, from the fans? Well, Ron, I expected a lot of negative reaction. Frankly, we've had some, but very little compared to what I expected. Most of the drivers will be back with us next year. They're already making their plans uh, to go asphalt, to uh, run this on a weekly basis. Uh, Billy Pouch, for example, will be here with Ray Ibrahim helping him, not only in, uh, uh, with his tire setups for other people, but uh, uh, with his school to teach the uh, drivers that go to Billy Pouch's school, how to better handle themselves on asphalt. Uh, there's being conversion kits set up by uh, uh, Flemington Speed and Sport. Mike Corcoran will have one on his own car uh, to convert over to asphalt. And there's been a lot of cars ordered now, new cars, uh, even though they basically can use their old cars. A lot of people are coming out with new ones so that they look nice. Because once here, you're not going to be splattered with mud anymore. The cars are going to be remaining uh, picture perfect perfect the whole race long so everybody wants their cars to look in the best possible condition that they can be those are four cool reasons for going asphalt and we're sure that you fans have your own opinions about flemington going asphalt now let's hear from some of the drivers and their opinions about the asphalting of flemington speedway it's gonna be real different you're gonna get it's gonna be a real experience i think it's not gonna be just uh, every ordinary uh, pavement race track you're gonna have dirt track racers on a different shape uh, track than they usually run on payment, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be real interesting. 
Well, you know, I was involved in this uh, dirt asphalt challenge thing this year, and, uh, you know, everybody, uh, it was kind of nice for me because we got a lot of ink about it. Everybody looks at it like it's so magical, and it's really not. Um, the cars are very adaptable, and the drivers are very adaptable. And I think uh, you got to look at the thing as, you know, you got to be smooth, and, and you got to be calm. And uh, on the asphalt, it takes a little bit different driving style, but, but I think basically for me it's a lot easier I mean I race go-karts on asphalt but it's a lot easier I think to drive the asphalt and the guys drive a lot easier and I, as far as dollars to convert a dirt car um, you dirt car you can take it as far as you want but I mean Richie Tobias will take a car and he'll convert the thing in two and a half hours and I believe all the pieces piled up in a pile would cost you a thousand bucks so uh, it's, it's an easy deal I think it'll be great I don't I think the dust problem this year it's turned off a few people uh, when it wasn't dusty here, this is probably the nicest third track you're going to get on for passing and racing real well. I think when they change it over to asphalt, it'll be a, a real nice track. They'll do everything right here like they usually do, and, and it'll turn out great. I feel that after after we run a couple shows here, your tire bill's probably going to go down. You're probably not going to use as many tires because once we figure out what type of tire the track surface is going to call for, you'll run the same tire every week. Where coming down here as a dirt facility and a dirt show, you got to bring everything along. You know, you got to bring down all the different compounds, and you might <clears throat> run several different compounds throughout the night, and you hurt each tire, so you can't use it again. So you end up. I, I would. I wouldn't. You know, wouldn't be uh, hard to believe that if you, you'd actually use uh, less asphalt tires than you would dirt tires. I've been a big supporter of uh, asphalt racing for the dirt cars. Uh, it 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 should lend itself to. Uh, to some maybe different setups or whatever that you might need for this track because the configuration is i don't know if it's really uh, uh the best configuration for asphalt but i mean but uh, you won't know until it's done and until you see cars on the racetrack and um i know i know one thing uh the drivers ought to do some neck exercises because they're gonna have a hard time keeping their head up that's one th that's one thing that will be a problem here um yeah my observation i spent uh, the last month actually i've been to wall stadium and likewise um the Thompson Speedway out in Thompson, Connecticut. I spent the weekend last weekend, in which uh, I'm very excited and um, just to see the asphalt modified, and very excited to see these dirt cars being converted. I don't feel it would take too awfully much to convert them. Um, it's much more professional racing in that respect, uh, is where um, it shouldn't take really too awfully much to um, take and convert these dirt modifieds on over. How about in terms of maintenance, Mark? What will be the difference uh, for dirt modified on asphalt. I understand a lot of the drivers have said, really, it's going to be a lot less maintenance. Yes, that's correct. It'll be far less maintenance uh, in respect to the cars. Uh, there'll be no dirt. Um, everything will stay much cleaner. Everything about it, uh, I would have to tell you, be actually less than one-third the maintenance of a dirt modified. Once you set them up and so forth, they pretty much stay that way. Well, we're looking forward to the new challenge. I think it's a smart move by promoter Paul Cool, and we're going to do our homework hopefully well. Uh, go to a driving school, a professional driving school. I think that's important. And we're going to be working with another uh, well asphalt driver that runs wall to help us out and get his things dialed in. Well, I know you always had real exciting uh, racing there before, and I think it's going to be even more exciting now with the pavement down because uh, it's going to be a lot more side-by-side -side racing. Uh, the cars are going to be e easier for the fans to see without the dust problem. And I think it's going to be a lot more enjoyable for the fans. I think it just has some real good, fast racing up there. Right, well, basically what we want to try to do is keep me in the seat more, you know, more than I have been the past few years. We've been going without sponsorship for the last two years, so really I've only raced in a few amount of races. You know, with Flemington now being paved, that's really great for, for me, basically, because it's in my backyard. So, you know, on the weekends, we're not away with the bush car. We're going to be spending our time at Flemington Speedway.